News has just come out of nowhere that Arsenal have completed the signing of Jakob uh, Kiwar. I probably butchered that name, but uh, we'll get straight into it. Fabrizio Romano has come out and said Arsenal have completed the signing of Jakob Kiwar. Here we go. Contracts are being signed with Spezia. Fee in excess of 20 million euros with add ons. Understand uh, Kiwar, I still don't know how to say the name, has agreed their uh, personal terms on a five year deal. Medical will be completed in the next 48 hours. It's done. And uh, David Lonson has backed this up by saying Spezia centre back uh, Jacob, Jacob Kiwior is heading to Arsenal. FIFA 22 year old Poland and Hashra in excess of 20 million euros. So, this is a deal that basically came out of nowhere actually. There wasn't really any links that I can remember of this guy. This already came out today, this afternoon. And uh, yeah, it's been backed up by Fabrizio Mano and David Lonson. So, it does look like Arsenal have got their left centre back. Me personally, I do not know much about him. In fact, I didn't really know. I didn't know anything about him before we signed him. I know a little bit about him now because I've read about stuff and seen stuff. But before that, I didn't know anything. But we'll just get quickly into uh, what he's about and a little bit about the player. So obviously, his name is Jacob Kiwior. I'm gonna have to get used to saying that name. Uh, he can play centre back, but can play DM and left back. He is versatile. Uh, he played in a back three for Spezia mainly, so it may take time to adapt in a back four for Arsenal. He's 22 years old, he is left footed, he's from Poland. We obviously bought him from Spezia, 6 foot 2, so he's obviously tall and he's had nine apps for Poland. So he, does, he doesn't seem to have the fastest of players, but as long as he's got good reading of the game, he should be okay with uh, centre back. But we do play a high line as well, so he, he might have to get used to that because I'm not sure in Spezia he would be playing in a high line as they're not one of the top teams in Italy. And he's only had nine appearances for Poland, so not the most experienced of players either. A couple of days ago, uh, Santi Ona came out and said this, uh, which translates to uh, Spezia, they refused a 22 million euro offer for the centre back uh, from Borussia Dortmund. They didn't find the offer sufficient enough. And in my opinion, Dortmund, you've seen them get talent all over the world, like all this talent, and they sell them for millions. So they've got good talent ideas. So if they want a player, this is good news for us because they don't really miss when it comes to sending talents for little fees. And at the bottom, you can see it says uh, the centre back. He's played 80% of his games as a centre mid last season, whereas this season he's played almost exclusively at left centre back. And uh, he played eight of his uh, last nine caps at Poland at centre back and the other at left back. So he's not, uh, he played that left back for that Poland game. Uh, I'm not really sure how he did uh, any of these games to be honest, but the more important thing is that he has played there and he is familiar with these positions. So she played 80% as your game last season as a midfielder. So he will be used to that midfielder position and he could be covered for Thomas Partey or maybe Granit Xhaka. But he, I do feel he will be Gabriel cover for us at left centre back as this season he's basically played as a left centre back so I do think he will be playing there for us. But he can play in midfield so if we ever get any injuries he should be able to do a job there. Finally the picture on the left, uh, this is the Andalect youth team and him and uh, Sambi Lukonga who of course is at Arsenal, they used to play together for the youth team so when he comes to Arsenal he will have somebody who he used to know so that's good news. And um, in my opinion, I think this is a very good signing as I don't know a lot about him, but we do need a left centre back. This guy is young, so he isn't yeah, the most over oldest of players and he will be covered because we have Gabriel there. So I highly doubt we'll be starting over Gabriel. So uh, he can be rotation and cover for injury. So I think I'm very fond of the signing. He is young, so we will need to give him time to adapt to this league. So we can't just, uh, expect the 22 or two to be amazing straight away. I do imagine there will be some uh, an adjustment period from back three from Spets in the Italian league to a fast-paced league, physical league to the Premier League to top of the league, who um, plays a very high line as well. Our next game is the FA Cup against Manchester City, so I don't think he'll be thrown in uh, straight away against that. He might be time to settle in because he, uh, he hasn't even done his medical yet, so I imagine he'd do his medical and be announced and early next week I imagine but that's it for today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching uh, let me know your thoughts on everything I've discussed in this video uh, let me know what you know about the players or how you can help me out as well and uh, like subscribe comment and thanks again for watching